Hey, I'll just here with a quick tutorial on how to do screencast. I'm going to show you three different ways: uh, QuickTime, Screencast-O-Matic, and Nimbus. Um, QuickTime is native for Macs. It's a program you can just go and find it near and just uh, you one button click for screen recording. It's easy to use and has a trim feature that I will show you. Screencast-O-Matic has you can use a free account. It's web-based, or you can download the app. Um, it's actually what I'm using right now. The paid version is only $15, and it's something I highly recommend students buy. Uh, it's $15 a year. Um, I don't really assign books, but it's such an important tool for recording videos or making tutorials for your students, um, mainly because of the powerful editing tools you get, features with you get with it. So I'll show you a little bit of that in this tutorial as well. And then finally, um, a Chrome or Firefox plugin that I really like uh, that is Nimbus, and it has Google Drive integration, which can be really important for schools that, because many schools um, are GAF schools and use Google Suite and um, use Google Classroom. And so uh, using a tool that's integrated like Nimbus does help out a lot. The first tool we're going to go over is QuickTime. So if you go to your Finder, uh, go to your Applications folder, you can find the QuickTime, and then under File, all you have to do is hit New Screen Recording. That will pop up a box here that you can hit Record on. I'm not going to hit Record because I'm currently recording in Screencast-O-Matic, um, but you have options here to select different mics. Um, most of you will just be using your built-in microphone. So now, as you see, once I hit the built-in microphone, you can see the audio working. Um, always make sure you see the audio bar before you start recording. You just hit record. And I'm actually recording the other option, so I can't do that. But once it's done, you'll have some powerful editing options. Then in QuickTime, if you go up to Edit, which is in the top toolbar, you can select Trim. Or you can hit your Command key and T as your shortcut. But once you hit Trim, you get two bars and you can shorten and shrink your video. So you can select it down and be done and just hit trim. And now your video is shrunk. And that gives you the chance to navigate and move around. In that example, you see how I took uh, the Google presentation and went full screen with QuickTime so you didn't see the um, Editing bars is how I've kind of set it up. One of my other favorite recording tools is Screencast-O-Matic. It is so easy. Um, it's probably the tool I rely on the most as a teacher when it comes to doing distributed classrooms or making screencasts. And they have a web-based version that's super easy to use. I actually use the app that um, you get as well. So with that, let me show you how to log in. Let me log out real fast. And then you log in with Google or if you log in with your email, you can then start your recorder. Oh, I already have it open, so I and then it has an app. Or you can play, record right from the browser, but since I already have the app installed, I will show you that. So I could hit record, and that would start a recording there. And then after you're done talking, you can just hit pause. Then you get your editing tools. So if I were to click on done here on my video, what I love Screencast-O-Matic is for the powerful editing tools. I can click on edit, for example. I can turn off the cursor if I don't want to see that little yellow bar or leave it on. I can cut, insert other videos, narrate over specific clips, um, overlay pictures, text, um, blurs, arrows, replace items. So there's a ton of full force editing tools and I don't have the time in this tutorial to really go over them, but if you just look on Screencast-O-Matic or Google how to do Screencast-O-Matic, you can find so many great tools. Uh, Nimbus is a really powerful tool and when you're using it, you can then get the Google integration. So once I hit stop sharing, with the screen capture tools, you get Google Drive integration and with the videos, you can save the video file um, you can add comments. You, if you, you can sign up for Nimbus account, and that has uh, many benefits. But the easiest thing to do is just hit the Save the Video button, 
and you can then download it as a WebM file, uh, which you can then play with or upload to YouTube or any video editing tool. And that's it. Um, that's three easy ways to screencast. But let's think about this. What, what can you do with your project that's simply more than screencasting? Well, if you're doing a chat with other people. What if you recorded a Google Hangout where all four of you, or FaceTime where all four, three or five of you are on one page together? You don't have to have a slide deck for your presentation. You could go over the key details, define key terms, just in a kind of conversation way. You could also just use your cell phone to uh, record your screencast as well. Um, there's a lot of different tools out there that you can use. So um, I hope you found this useful, and I'm looking.